Welcome back to Carthage Sports on Twitch. Today we have two games for the Overwatch for the Firebirds Black team. We play Montclair State University Redhawks first at 6 p.m. right now, and then we play Cornell College at 7 p.m. right after. We are getting right into the game here. Yep. These teams are pretty tough as uh, our black team was checking their ranks. So we'll hope to see an interesting game here. Uh, I do know that this is one of our uh, one of uh, Firebird Black's strongest maps. I know uh, Crazy Crazy Mage does pretty well on the tank here, so this and should be one that we should be able we to have take. Shinbo in Shinbo in, which is new. Uh, we we recently had a player uh, drop this team, so a slightly different lineup than probably we saw last week. Yes, it will be. The rest of the team should be pretty similar though. We have uh, we have Sam. JT Lule, Snowstorm, and Crazy Mage as the regulars with Shinbo now in. Uh, what do you think? How do you think this map is going to play out? So they do like this map a lot. This Ready specific map on Li Zhang as well. So they've been practicing the Zarya, and we've been practicing Sim a lot. No uh, Snowstorm mind. usually only on Soldier. JT is usually stuck on Alari because he likes playing, and we got Sam and the Baptiste. Sam is kind of just our play whatever the team wants on support for uh, Black yeah. at least. Uh, he kind of just can play anything. We will be getting in to the round here, so let's get ready. Yes, the enemy team running something uh, kind of similar. It's like the same minus the Arisa and Torb. Yeah, the Torb is definitely an interesting pick here. I'd like to see how this plays yeah. out. We're mm. getting into the first fight. First fight, we get first up. Yep, that forms some energy. It's not crazy. Too bad. Mage. Crazy Mage trying to set up, get some energy. Got a turret out of the way. Okay. Sim spamming. Low, they're so looking for a TP behind, maybe? For TP, no. a soldier just flanks over behind. behind. Are they gonna kill him? Oh. Sam falls to the Torb. Oh, that is very bad. And this fight's looking pretty bad. Yeah, our main, oh, our main yeah. heals are out. We mean you can't stay up this long. Have to take a We do have fight. full charge Zarya, so it is winnable, but there goes one of the DPS, and at this point, it's pretty much over for this fight. Yeah. So they're just gonna die or leave. Yeah, it definitely should be a regroup here, or we should just die. Storm. Yeah, there it is. Crazy Mage, probably gonna go down. Or they could probably get out, actually. Oh, let's yeah. see. Oh, Sam yeah, goes down again. How does yeah. that happen? Yeah, Rusa gets a 3k out of nowhere, and it's supposed to be a full regroup. And Crazy Mage to die, losing all the energy. Definitely seems like uh, Montclair State really wants to run a more poke poke variant here with the Arisa yes. and the Torb instead of a rush variant with the Simzaria. So we got uh, their sol the uh, soldier on the high ground. So let's see how the Firebirds deal with this. They, they, we still have the TP. Ooh, Finbone's almost down, but we do we do have a Grav and Yari combo coming up soon. Yeah, but they uh, do have a window Yari and a Torbolt coming up for. See, let's, for see, the let's see how Crazy Mage builds this charge. Oh, we got a TP bomb TP in the behind. Back. Oh, that's two ults out of out of uh, red lava. Bird, red, red gonna cause a lot of chaos. We do drop the grab. Oh, grab! oh my wow. god! That Almost was a double team wipe, but it, it looks like Montclair is gonna come on at top. Maybe. How? Yeah, oh. it's a one v two. That was a lot of ults for a Crazy fight. Mage could that. maybe try winning this. Okay, it's one v one. Can he do it? No, no, not enough health. That was That's an close. insane yeah. amount of ults for that fight, though. What yeah. was that? Five ults used in total? Four ults? Five? Oh, six. Six, yeah. Oh, wow. Montclair, um, Yari had their pylon up in the far back, which kept their wrist alive. Yeah, we do have Firebirds coming in with the window visor and sim wall with yeah. the Redhawks coming in with a visor Yari combo. That, sh that could do a lot of damage yeah. to the Redbirds we'll, here. So we'll Firebirds. see how... So his fight goes, see if we get some energy. Okay, so the enemy area out, comes out. Oh, gets a hits massive how many hit. there? Three? It's three, nothing. Okay, so we got, oh, they got no. our Sim. Ooh, massive window no visor, touched. but they no did face C9. No. Firebirds oh. had a massive C9. We even had the we had the window. Yeah, we had we had uh window there. wall and visor all, all at visor, once. That was unfortunate. Might have forgot about that for a second, but very dominant uh, first point by the by MSU Redhawks. Yeah, though. very dominant. Uh, so it looks like the Firebirds are trying to run a ball comp, which is a bit better for this map. This map doesn't favor the Zarya comp as much. Oh, we do have but, a Lucio yeah. coming out of uh, JT Lule. Oh, the uh, Ryan so, so, Tracer. Yeah, the, 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 Red, the Red Hawks are you know, it's a slightly new comp. Okay, so we see this push off ball onto the Rhine. No Symmetra to TP to point. 
And the Red Hawks will definitely get to the point first with that Lucio and Sim. They are running what I believe is now the current uh, meta, being the Zarya, Genji, Sojourn with the Bab Lucio. We do have Reinhardt going in oh, real quick here. Shield. Immortality oh, wow, already out. Crazy Mage does fall low, gets an Immortality. Wait, just waiting a little bit to get some healing. Shinbone on the flank. The flank Taking doesn't it go to too well. Hybrids are down a lot of health here. They gotta regroup a little bit. Oh, no, or there, no. goes, there goes there goes JT, the map, and there's already with full charge walking out of the back line. The fight's already over. And that's a team wipe. Uh, definitely took a little bit too much damage in the pre-fight, which led to them not the being able to play. The Firebirds kind of got stuck by the opposite side wall, and them being by the edge isn't really a good thing, especially when they have a Lucio. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. We do have, Firebirds do have a window coming yeah. up soon. Should be the first ult to come up here. Let's see how, let's see if they you can see, use that to get a good advantage. You see Firebirds going for uh, a bit of a poker comp. We have Zarya switch, and then we have Tracer onto Junkrat now. I so, definitely think the Junkrat is an interesting yeah, pick Junkrat here. is an interesting pick. I, I think they've kind of given up on not charging the Zarya, and there's an idea with the Zarya being charged Ooh, the whole fight. Dizzy, want, Dizzy became so, so low. Uh, the Genji is so low, but I don't think the Firebirds noticed just yet. They used the window, but still yeah. lost. Yeah, crazy, crazy, cra crazy mage down. Fight's pretty much over. They just gotta get out. Ah, oh, there goes Doesn't Snow happen. and Sam. Just JT yeah. left alive. Let's see if he can get out here. JT on Lucio is that's an interesting pick. I've never seen him play it before, so we'll see um, how he does. C4 is just beat it. Um, that's yeah, one yeah, old yeah. gone was, apparently. Uh, Maybe a fat finger. Yeah, definitely um, <laughs> a misclick by the Red Hawks, wasting their entire beat on nothing. But they do they still, still have yeah, four ults. They do have four ults. The Firebirds are coming up on three, three ults, maybe four. Right around three ults. Ooh, oh, so they're going to grab the window. And uh, the Firebirds do live that somehow. But somehow. They, got, they, they gotta almost hit, have a beat. Get out of it. We do beat, we though. We do we're beat. up one. Oh, Firebirds are up one. Dizzy did go down to the Soldier. Our Junk is still alive, Our pumping in that higher, damage. But oh, yeah, the Soldier goes it. down. That gets rid of Red Hawks. DPS, yep. which causes a reset. That's a good. fight win for the fire. Firebirds, uh, first fight win, very, very good. So, we first do step have, forward. We do have both DPS ults here uh, to the Red Hawks, uh, Blade only. So first it should be. Oh, we do have Grav as well. I wonder if we're going to do a Grav tire here to combo I'm those. I'm thinking that, should that be a maybe. Combo. Hopefully, the Firebirds are thinking something about like grabbing the ulting Genji. Okay, so they grab, oh, and they miss the Grav, they, they miss the, the, tire, the tire, and the, uh, the ulting Genji runs over the whole team. Yeah, this that's looks like two picks gonna be a GG. That is two picks yeah. from Dizzy. That is pr oh. that is gonna cause a overtime nice. fight at yeah. at the minimum. So Let's see if Shinbo can get back. Yeah. Firebirds, if they switch to Wrecking Ball, can make it a point oh. and touch at least, but it's not gonna look pretty. Ooh, Ooh that is not good. Let's see. see. Do they I, have a touch? They, 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 they are do. touching. They're touching. Sam is about to go down as well. It's, it's just gonna be Lucio and the Wrecking Ball on point. Just and crazy on point. Yeah. It should that should if just you can long enough. call the feet. Yeah, doesn't doesn't seem so. So it looks like this game's gonna go uh, almost. Oh, Shinbone does Shinbone touch. Let's see good if touch. he can stay on a little bit longer for someone else to get back. Wait, it looks like they got. They, they have do have. Back. They do have oh. some ults coming back. It doesn't look like they yeah, can use it. They could use the ults. And JT good, does fall good, off. Good try by the Firebridge for the recontest, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough for now. That definitely was a dominant showing from MSU. Uh, from the MSU Red, Red Hawks, Hawks had, a, had a very good team. Had very good picks. Their positioning was pretty good. And the Zarya was always charged, doing a lot of damage. Yeah, Dizzy, Dizzy just run ran a muck through our uh, backline with that yeah. Genji on that last point there, just not really yeah. dying that off. Fire Firebirds right having picks. little to no plan for the blade might be an issue for later because with with that dominant showing on Genji, they might play Genji the whole time. Yes, I definitely would uh, would expect to see a Genji here uh, for the rest of the game because I know. I do believe the next map will be a hybrid map. If hybrid I map, or is it yeah. a push or a payload? I forget. I think uh, it's payload I think, actually. I think it's, it's it's either payload or hybrid. But I know Genji is fairly strong on both of those map types, especially yeah. with the current meta comp being that Zarya, yeah. the Zarya Genji Lucio being yeah. like the main the mainstay in the comp. It's so, it's being very strong right now. I wonder what the Firebirds are gonna pick here because MSU is gonna ban and Firebirds will pick a map, and I'm not honestly sure what they're gonna pick because. I do not know either. I guess we will just have to see. Cause again, okay, so they banned Shambali. So that does mean it is a payload map. So it yeah. will be payload for the map pool. My guess is they might they might take us to... Actually, I don't know. Maybe like a Havana or yeah. something like that. Cause I maybe, know, maybe more rangy. 
Yeah, because I know we have Shinbone, whose hit scan and Widow is very strong. Yeah. Soldier's very good and on. Yeah, Snowstorm's gonna be a soldier for the most part, or that's his, that's his best character. So, and Crazy Mage just like playing a lot of Sigma, so I definitely could see the Firebirds going to a range map. Yes, because I also the Bapiari from yeah, the Bapiari. Sam and from so, Sam and JT yeah. would be very. Our Black good Team right now is looking very very pokey, and uh, I miss you. Looking for a good all around comp. They they played a very good mid range as you saw on Li Zhang. Uh, for control center with that Arisa yeah. Torb for sure, and then very, they very circuit yeah circuit Royale. So that makes a yeah, lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense because Snowstorm's best character is probably Soldier, and oh, J that is J J JT really is <laughs> probably is likes Yari the most. That is not a circuit. And, yeah, Crazy Mage <laughs> really likes the Sigma, the classic main for him. So yes. circuit is kind of a no brainer because it's definitely the best Sigma map. And Shinbone's Widow is pretty, yeah, it's, it's pretty, is pretty yeah, good. He likes playing Widow on this map. He uh, does. He does like his fair share of Widow. Sam does does the, like his Baptiste, yeah. and Bap is very good in the poked style. Sam, Sam, Sam's Ana is actually very good. I'm very, I'm always yeah. very impressed with Ana. Yeah, that is one thing they could also run. They could run, um, if they really wanted to, they could run a like a Genji is uh, of their own. Shinbone's Genji, I know, is very strong, and then we can, ha and then Sam could run the Ana, give them a Nano Blade yeah. combo so, to pair up. So you actually. Doing some subs, <laughs> so uh, maybe that misplay beat might yeah. have been a yeah, might have been C4, a little too C4 bad. C4 just got benched for a second after that beat. Kind of unfortunate, but let's see MSU because their current comp style could work on circuit, but most likely they had to switch to like a sigma or even a dive. So what I'm wondering now is, do you do we think that Blaze might be someone who mostly plays Mercy and is coming into pocket uh, uh, pocket like a hit skin? Maybe I. I I forgot what, Mercy, what uh, Blaze's stats was like, but... Because I know that profile. could be a situation, because I know on a lot of uh, poke-centric maps with hit scans, teams will sub in, like, a Mercy player or someone who mostly yeah. plays Mercy to pocket one of their DPS, like an Ash or a, or a yeah. Widow. This or is a, a very uh, pocket-heavy map, because you could pocket the Soldier or an Ash is pretty popular. Yes, very. Uh, the second point, the second, and I feel like all the different points of this map play fairly different because mm -hmm. first map you have, like, the point is pretty much only on low ground with that yeah. bridge high ground that most defenses like to hold. Well, the second point has, like, a two, a, a, like a double level f or two different levels for their, for where the payload does push, giving a little bit of, uh, a little bit of an interesting like dynamic between the defense and offense and then third point being indoor means that you can kind of run more of a rush if you really need to if the poke isn't working out yeah. but when you get to third point. what i think the firebirds are thinking right now is that second point should be really strong for them if they do a mercy pocket on the soldier because that high ground is really devastating like right where the camera is on the left here uh very good high ground and that's usually really hard to get past if you play it properly so um, so I definitely would expect uh, Shinbone to be on some sort of hit scan DPS. Yes. So their defense first, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Firebirds will be on the defense, defense to start first. with the Redhawks being on the uh, being on the offense. Here. Yeah, so let's see what the Redhawks do if they play an Arisa, or maybe even jump the wall, play something divey. We haven't seen a dive from them yet, so. Jumping the wall is definitely a very uh, interesting strat. I, mean, I know us on uh, we love Firebird that. Reds love to do that. Yeah, it's a fun strat to do like a Fara really junk. Okay, so Junkrat, uh, interesting choice. I forgot that he, oh, I forgot that his secondary is definitely Junkrat. And not seeing a soldier, but with the amount of range they have, I guess they don't really need another hit scan because uh, they have two healer hit scans and a DPS hit scan. So going something where area control makes a lot of sense. So yeah, Shinbone something very, Yash something very interesting for MSU Hawks is that. They have a Sombra, which is very interesting, and they're running Zen. So this is definitely, like, a different team almost. Okay, they're playing Widow now. Yeah, the wi I was going to say, the Sombra doesn't make sense. Yeah, um, Sombra was weird. Against our team, the Sombra would make sense, because we do uh, like a lot of ball. Yeah. But, <laughs> but well, against against the Firebirds Black, they do like to run the more traditional SIG on this map. So Widow definitely makes a lot of sense. And Blaze being on the Zen was something... Yeah. Zen, must... Zen, Zen isn't seen as much after, after the nerf, but... This is like a, there's like it's like an entirely different team comp, so just to see how MSU plays this. Oh, Funky already goes low, forcing the immortality, which go which it does die due to Shinbone. Hyper's pretty strong here. They have a widow up top though. They gotta watch out for it. One pick and Ooh. dizzy the gets Shinbone. Be over. That's not good. Crazy Mage does fall really low. Immortality is used, but it yeah, does Crazy not Mage save goes him. Down. Widow really opened up the entire map for them and. 
that timing, the timing on that widow shot widow with was, the, was pretty good. Yeah, with the destruction of the immortality, definitely was a surprise there. I don't yeah. think I don't think JT was ready for that and just got domed. I would, I think the I soldier, would. Yeah, the soldier also picked up. I think the widow got two headshots. The soldier got two headshots. So I the do like this. Really getting just kind of one shot the entire round. So let's see how to deal with it. So I do like this switch to more of a rush style. Uh, yeah. Shinbone still being on the ash is a little bit interesting Ooh. though because I feel like soldier already goes down. Soldier dying early though is not good. The Firebirds. That... I start to realize that maybe the, the range game isn't something they can beat him at. No, Ooh. crazy does go down. Shinbone gets one he though. Get one. Oh, he uh, can't get another. Doesn't look like that'll be enough. And dies to a rock. Yep. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's we'll see if get Firebirds out of are going to continue this Hiscan duel or they're going to try to switch to a rush. We was back to well. Sigma. So, the issue with the Firebirds is we've had two tanks put us already, so the alt is just not even close. Oh, life just, Weaver? Well, life Weaver. <laughs> I, forgot, <laughs> life I forgot he played Life Weaver. Actually, let's play Life Weaver. So, we have Life Weaver, Ana, which. If they could work, to, uh, I don't get hate them out. it in the poke duel because yeah. if you play if you play space enough, Life Weaver does just counter Sigma's ult. Yeah. Because having the pull is very strong with that. Uh, yeah. there. Yeah, the window comes out. Oh, Shinbo. The, the widow, widow's kind of rolling over the whole team. The window's gonna clean up the rest. Firebirds. Yes, the the window there just caused the demise of They're the both. Firebirds. Yeah. Let's see, does J2, JT and Sam do get out, which is very strong there? Uh, I feel yeah, like Shinbone should just switch to like a Genji or something to force yeah. to force this, pressure yeah. on the Widow without this, the This ash. range game is just not working at the moment. They've, I think they've lost almost every duel. Okay, Ooh. so they, they, they do kill the Widow. They cannot touch though, so it looks like they're trying to play next corner. I think the Life Weaver killing the Widow is the is probably the yeah. funniest situation there. One, one little needle hits and then dies. <laughs> Life Weaver does do some like good some, damage. Some damage. Oh, Funky! Funky oh, gets anti yeah. before so, the immortality can come out. This Sigma goes down, and this fight looks look like a win. This point is really important to kind of win the first fight after after they they cap because this is a very hard choke. You only have that one door, and it's like a small one on the right. But for the most part, you gotta push through this one area. Red Hawk do still have Ooh, five minutes on the clock, yeah. and and coming up on on their fourth ult to use here. But Firebirds do have all five coming up. Which should be just an old fest of yeah. a fight to see who wins. What what ult do you think is gonna get used first here? What, what, what Definitely are the fluxes? Uh, flux. Uh, I, 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 I think so. I think eighteen oh, yeah. flux, but it hits too many people. Oh, yeah, he stopped it. The same he, still he goes it, down. But, uh, the Ana goes down as well. Okay, mob and flux. That's three more ults from the four more ults. Yeah, uh, fifth ult, like five ults, six, and seven fight. ults. That's seven. Oh, wait, ults. They win the window. They they threw everything. Four Let's ults. see. Do we use the visor? No. Make it. No. Make yeah. it. Make it nine. No. The vi no. visor shouldn't be used here. They got to back up. We have. We do have a nano visor, and they do not have. Yeah, I ever switch to Arisa? I don't hate the switch. You're trying to play a little bit more aggressive onto the Sig, take yeah. away some of that space. We do have a nano visor that we can play here. Sights has been used though. Right. Okay. We have a touch. Here comes okay, the nice. nano visor. Nano visor. Looks like it's gonna clip a lot of people. Very, very, very good, good combo. Immortality yeah, was either. used really early, just as then alive. He kills oh. Snowstorm, no. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. See, yeah. this is the pick I was waiting for. I yeah. was waiting for the Shinbone Genji to put pressure on Dizzy's Widow. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if after if, if uh, Shinbone does kill Dizzy on this next fight, if Dizzy does switch off to a different uh, to a different hit scan or a different... Yeah. They, they, got, uh, they gotta get Genji rid of these of uh, snipers, because it's really causing an issue. The uh, Red Hawks definitely used Trance to really, to really that last fight. What well, wasn't prepared for anything? Yeah, they do have a Sigil coming up soon, so I would, I, I am expecting to see that come out this fight as soon as he gets it. it more, oh yeah, there it is. Shinbone kills Dizzy in the back line. Wait, when it goes down, we might see a switch from the Red Hawks. Ooh, Ooh the Arisa goes down. The Discord no. is just too strong. Yes. Just Shinbone camping for the Zen oh. in the back line. The Zen did go the down. Zen did go down. Yep, there's the Flux. Flux exactly what I was Sleep expecting. Sleep was missed. Let's see. Do live, die. though. Everyone lives from the flux. Oh, no, Sam almost. does go down. We do have a. We do have. A, we do have a tree here. Yes, we do have a life we'll tree. If we need no won't. Yeah. Dizzy does switch to the Genji, like I predicted, assuming that you would take the duel. Rhino yeah. kills two. Dizzy kills two. That just speaks the end of the round. Yeah, yeah. Firebirds definitely held onto the tree a little bit too long there, while the Red Hawks had really good alt usage for the most part. It was a few times they used a few many, a few too many, but.
Yeah, I mean, there was that one ult where I think it was eight or nine ults used yeah, in the one like, fight. They pretty much won the fight and they used window and transport. Not really much, but overall, they still win. So now we're going to see what the Firebird's going to do. Are they, they going to run the same comp? Because they've already kind of learned just now that the sniper duel isn't really working out too well. So will they switch to a dive is the question. Because they definitely know how to do that, but will they do that? Firebirds definitely had a better defense on that third point, though. They did end up stalling about half the time that yeah. Red Hawks did have going into did the win, third point. Yeah, a few points on third. This corner right here where the camera's at uh, is a lot closer, so the Red Hawks could use a lot less of their snipers. But So this is interesting. We now have Dizzy on the Hanzo with Rhino going over to the Widow, switching yeah, so up the looks like hit scans. Both these guys like playing one-shot characters, so one-shot characters are pretty hard to play against. They got two of them, plus a Discord, so they're just going for as much single-person damage as possible. Yeah, my guess is definitely that, uh, I assume that that on the attack they like Sojourn for the mobility, and yeah. Rhino is probably their Sojourn yes. player, so yeah. Dizzy you takes the Widow for that, but on the defense where they don't need the mobility as much, they like to run a Hanzo yeah. instead, so, which makes a lot of sense. Hanzo does an insane amount of damage. So for the Firebirds here, they're gonna jump the wall, so... Okay, they're going all five jump the wall, and they're gonna push the pillow later. You see they're all going to the right, and they're going to jump it. Shinbone Genji and Snowstorm Echo se definitely seems like they can put a lot of pressure on that Zen and uh, the Zen and Widow right. there. Going up. See how this goes. Yep, they go up. Immort Immortality Force down. already. Sam is, is one is very low. And he's going to go down. Still? The Widow is very Widow far back, hit? unusually. Yeah. So they it, don't it's, have it's DPS, pretty, though. It's pretty, it's pretty even. This is the Sir Healers and Sigma. Just Zen like and Sig. Just Zen and Sig. We're going to take this one. Yep, Firebirds do take it. A well-organized dive. Very, very good dive. Only losing their Echo and Mercy, but trading it out for both their DPS was definitely very good, a good read. Play. Obviously, the Firebirds didn't know that they had two one-shot characters, but the fact that they jumped the wall and took away that range advantage really made the, the pressure a lot better. Okay, so we see uh, the Hanzo is gone, and yes. we have uh, Cassidy. Shinbone holding up on those stairs is a little bit sketchy in my yeah. opinion. I definitely feel like he can easily get picked out there, especially if the Cassidy finds... Yeah. Okay, he's he's sitting behind a wall. Never mind. Yeah. So. <laughs> he, he is just sitting behind a wall. So let's see how the Diva picks into this, because it's going to be a lot tougher for this specific fight now that they know it's coming. So oh, JT goes J J down. JT goes down. So they're going for the res here, which is kind of risky. He does get the res, so the but, res goes Shinbone off, but Shinbone does Shinbone goes down. down. So they're gonna, The Firebirds are going to the back up here with all, all everyone low. Snowstorm is like a very low. Though. They do have four, so if they get a good pick here, it could possibly go in, but... They don't have anything for this upcoming yeah. Flux from Funky, as though. That is yeah, the problem. Too much damage is coming in for them to do anything right now. The D was just being kind of melted, but the duo of Bomb, I'm suspecting a switch after the Bomb. Yes, I am too. They, But Red Hawks do have three ults coming in here. They do have a yeah, Sig Flux High ults, Noon combo that they but... can do. None of it really counters bomb if you if you're trying to bomb for space. That is true. They will have immortality. Yeah. Hope uh, they should have immortality to protect themselves unless they use it uh, preemptively. Let's yeah, so see. So bomb's going in. Their, Cassidy their does Cassidy, fall Cassidy in. Cassidy is quite immortality close. Is down. All right, one pick. Let's see. Widow goes away from Shinbone. Yeah. Deflect Fire out from Shinbone. Can't oh, get the Widow right now. Uh, Ooh, the Widow Snow gets Storm an amazing gets, shot on the Echo. Just gets hit in the head. Crazy goes down goes down way too quick in that mech. And Flux the Flux out, comes Sam. out, kills our healers, and the fight is looking that is over. the end of the fight. And we get an emote out, but he couldn't get it out in time. Those one just get out, see if he gets staggered. He's definitely gonna get staggered. I, yeah, yeah, he definitely is. He was at 15 health. Yeah. They, so, two ults used from, oh yeah, there yeah, The Firebirds did use uh, their tank and a Mercy ult. They still yeah. have the other three left. We get a switch to Junker Queen. I do. I definitely do expect a uh, rush to come out here first. I definitely yeah. think that a rush blade would be the combo, but the Cassidy's, the Red the Hawks, Cassidy's hiding behind there. If you see on the top right over there, I didn't. But the Red Hawks do have a trance oh, for sure. the a transcendence oh. for the uh, for the for rush blade. Yeah. So that will be hard to play. Oh, our DPS are looking very low for the Firebirds, and Echo goes down. Ooh, Genji goes down. Go down. This looks like there's gonna back up here. That is that is a very bad defeat for that fight. Crazy Mage somehow some, staying some alive through alive, everything. But high noon does come out, gets they, nothing. They do force a high noon, but ultimately lose a the fight. They do, but Red Hawks do still have both support yeah, ults, which both are support very ult. strong here. As we've seen the past two uh, two rounds, the window really really hurts us. Every time they window, our entire team falls apart like a house of cards. 
So we'll see if the Firebirds have an answer to that or they're just going to try to deal with it. I personally think that Sam should switch off should uh, should switch off to something like a Lucio here to give us more of a speed so it's uh, easier to close the gap. Wow, oh. there we go. One shot, 600 damage through the window. Do we touch though? Oh. Here comes the blade. blade. The blade looks pretty big, but no. tra the immortality and, and transcendence so just gets they do, they do get the touch because the payload was pushed quite far back. So we do have a rush out. on point with no transcendence or immortality available. Here's Funky the goes low. Crazy Mage is going to rampage pretty soon. Funky was low, but somehow stays alive. Snowstorm in the back line? Dies. No. That's a pretty bad shot. And then no. our drunk queen all was taken. The res does come through, but now it's just crazy by... on point. It looks like it's be game over. Yes, that, that is going to be map over. Another pretty Another... dominant showing. Yeah. These Red Hawks definitely show that they have, uh, they have more than one.